Hello. In the last episode, we learned about callout views. We learned how we can use callouts to create an enlarged portion of an existing view, create a separate view that has finer details to them. We could add annotation text, dimensions, or 2D detail components such as these. The basic outline of the callout views was derived from the 3D model that we have. But callout views are not the only way we can add detailed drawings in our project. Sometimes while creating detailed drawings, we need to create typical details, which does not really belong to a specific position in the drawing. For example, here, these are the two typical flooring details available to the contractor as notes to follow this detail wherever that situation arises. So it does not specifically cross-reference to a specific position into the drawing. So how do we create a drawing whose outline is not derived from the 3D model? We cannot use callout views for this case, but we can use drafting views. To create a drafting view, we'll go into the view tab and select drafting view here. We can give it a name, custom detail. We can select the scale at this point and we can always come back and change it later on. And I'm going to say okay to this. Now a drafting view is a blank sheet of paper, little bit of CAD in Revit. I can draw anything that I like here and it has no reference to the Revit model whatsoever. Even if I delete my entire Revit model, this drafting view is going to remain as it is. Once you create a drafting view, that is going to be available under Project Browser under Drafting Views category. You can always come back to your scale and change it to the required scale that you want later on as well. Let's open up the detail drawing that I showed you earlier. This detail drawing was created using the filled region and the annotation text. Each layer that you see here for the flooring is created by using a separate filled region of that particular hatch. This text that you see here is created using the annotation text tool. If you want, you can add more details to it as per your project's requirement. We created a drafting view without having any reference to the Revit model, but it does not really mean that it cannot have a reference. Let's say if you want to create this typical detail and refer it to a specific position in the floor plan view, how do we do it? Let's go to the ground floor flooring plan here. Let's say I want to create a section that refers to that particular detail here. So if I'll go into the section and instead of creating a new section, I will reference this view to the typical flooring above ground. This is the detail that I want to refer at that section. And if I create this section here, you'll see if I double click on this, it goes to that particular detail drawing that I have in my drafting view. So, so you can create a detail in drafting view and have it referenced in a particular project view using either a section tool or a callout tool. Using the callout tool, you can also have the same function of referencing this view. You can choose the view that you would like to refer to and create a callout view for the same. When you double click on that callout, it will go to that particular drafting view. Now let's imagine a situation where you already have created a couple of details in CAD. Now if you want to include those CAD details within Revit's project documentation, how do we do this? How can we import a CAD detail into a drafting view in Revit and use it as part of our project documentation. That's the topic for our next episode. So please make sure that you subscribe. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next one.